Hey Greg, how's it going, man? Hey, Kevin, how are you, bud? Uh, I'm pretty good. Hey, how was that fishing trip last weekend? Oh, buddy, you have no idea how awesome that was. I caught yeah. a fish this big. Yeah? You gonna mount that bad boy? No, it, I mean, I say I caught it. I actually, I saw it under the water and, and then the line broke, but I, mean, I, I, I caught it in my hand. <laughs> I, I, it I, broke I'm the surface. Right there with you. You probably didn't want any part of it. Hey, you mind if I sit down? Go ahead, bud. All right, cool. I appreciate that. Uh, so the reason I'm here today, other than just kind of trying to check your inventory levels here, um, we've been consulting with several dealerships all over the place, being able to help them kind of achieve the goals they have set out for themselves, just really providing assistance in, in whatever way we can. We offer a wide variety of solutions. But today I'm really just here to take 15 minutes of your time, trying to ask you a few questions. I just want to gain a better understanding of how it works here at Abernathy, how you run this department. Uh, if that's okay with you, I'd like to just you know ask you some questions for 10, 15 minutes. That, that 10, right? 15 minutes? Yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. Uh, well, first of all, thanks for thanks for agreeing to sit down with me. Um, let me just start out by saying, what what are you trying to work on here? What's your biggest goals for? Uh, let's say, what, what what aren't we trying to work on here? You know, the service is kind of the linchpin of this entire operation. Oh yeah. You know, the, the guys up front don't sell that many cars. For me. But for me, I mean new cars. So right. being able to get them back in is, is always a concern. Basically, I want to write more ROs, get more you know revenue generated. Got to improve our CSI. My advisors are, are killing me right now. But I think the biggest thing is making sure that we get GM off our back for our retention number. That that would be the thing that would help me sleep better at night. Is knowing really? that I'm I'm ready to be on that and don't have to hear about it when I walk in Monday morning. Now, why is, why is it that so important? Why is GM on your back for that? Well, long story short, we get money for having a specific level of retention. Mm -hmm. Basically, for every new car we sell, we have to keep a certain percentage coming back here right. on a regular basis. Um, right now, our retention rate is 30%. GM wants it to be at 50%. And of course, if GM wants it, you know, Mitch wants it, he's the one that's in charge of the whole thing. And right. if Mitch wants it, I got to get it to him. Right. I'm assuming Mitch has been just kind of breathing down your neck about that too, right? Every day, man. Yeah. Every day. I have a new yeah. email. It's like, hey, we're not there yet. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you mentioned you're not there yet. What have you been trying to do to be able to get there? Um, really, everything that I've been trying to do, if I, if I recall correctly, I know we participate in the... Uh, the, the mailer program that GM does, mm -hmm. you know, it's like emails, it's basically free, which is pretty great. Um, but obviously, we're not where we need to be. So, I mean, we've tried to do that. It doesn't seem to be that effective. Um, we also have a BDC that calls. It's, well, I say BDC, it's two girls. One works 40 hours a week, one works 20 hours a week. Yeah. Just calling people, you know, hey, your last oil change is this, come on in, that kind of thing. But uh, you know, I have no way of keeping track of really what they're doing, what they're not, and frankly, if you know they can't get me at least a couple of percentage points, they're both on the street. Okay. So. Well, now, I mean, you mentioned being able to track the BDC. Do you have any way of tracking that, the GM mailing program that they're doing for you? Uh, I, I, I know that there's a report that I can pull somewhere, Right. but I have no idea how to do it. No, like yeah. like the GM rep comes like once every six months. I have right. no idea. You know, usually I got so many other things to ask him about, but that's never really on, on the docket, so to speak. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Um, so how do you? How are you able to, to see the effectiveness of that? Do you see people bringing in their little mail pieces? Or? That's pretty much the only way I have to keep track of it. I ask the advisors to if someone brings that coupon. Yeah. Um, to you know just leave it on their desk and I, you know take a tally that way, but it's not. It's just not as many, as many as they're sending out, I should be getting way more back. Yeah. Now, have you been able to look at what they're actually mailing out to, to customers? Have you seen those? Um, yeah, it's just, you know, your basic, you know, your Chevy might need something, yeah. you know, take care of it. doesn't, you know, my name is this big in the bottom yeah. corner. Yeah, gotta take the magnifying glass out Yeah, there. and there's, right. you, know, you know, another Chevy dealership, you know, pretty much equal distance from me, so depending on where the you know, customer lives, more than likely they have two choices, so. I understand. Now, in, in your retention stuff, do you have any other problems in, in your service department here? Um, not really, I just, I, I, I can't seem to, to make it consistent. Like, you know, 
I know I'll do like a, an extra direct mail campaign offering like, you know, free wiper blades or something, which, you know, takes a huge cut out of my pocket, but it, you know, boosts up the percentage a couple of points, you know, for a month or so, but it's not a consistent thing. Yeah, you're not, you're not able to see a growth on that. It's just Absolutely. a little, little spike every here and there. Yep. Um, so, you mentioned kind of the stuff that, that you have done in the past, but are you trying anything now? Uh, there's really not a whole lot that I can think of that I haven't already tried. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like I don't know if I can even if I can even do this. Whether I should just give up or you know kind of resign my fate of 30 percent and having constant memos and angry things being thrown at me when I walk into the principal's office. So yeah, well, not to try to take it too dark on you here, but what happens if that number stays where it is? What happens if, if you don't see any improvement in that uh, to, you, to you personally? Not going to be many more fishing trips, bud. Really? Not going to be many more fishing trips. I'd probably have to, uh, you know, I, I don't want to sell the boat, but you know, if I had to sell the boat, um, you know, wouldn't be able to buy the bait that I need. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to fish off a dock after fishing on a boat. It's, it's definitely not the same. No. It's definitely not the same. That's one of my few places to go and relax and, you know, enjoy myself away yeah. from, from all this. and. I would probably lose that, which is not good. No, it's almost not even worth trying to take those little brim that you catch off the dock off the hooks, right? Absolutely. Oh, man. Well, I mean, you talk about what's going to happen if you don't. What happens if you do? You talk about the OEM bonus that you get. Yeah. Do you get any kickback from that? I uh, I do. If we were to increase that up to the 50%, uh, we the, the GM calculation, at the very least, for their money is around an extra, I think it's 50 grand, I actually have a paper here, I think it's 50 grand a year, no, yes, yes, 50 grand a year, um, and if I get it to 50, Mitch has said he's gonna be an extra grand a month, so. Oh, that's a nice little bump, that's, that's very yeah. kind of him. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I love working for the guy, but he's just all the time in my ear. Oh, oh yeah. There's so much I can do. Right, I understand that. Um, so would you be open to kind of seeing some other solutions? I know you mentioned you've tried a lot of stuff before, but something that kind of has a little bit more proven track record of, of bringing in that success yeah. and, and continuous growth instead of spikes? Absolutely. I, I would love to see it, you know, increase. I just, I don't know if Reynolds is the company that can help me with that. Uh, you know, just, I, I don't know if you can do that. No, why do you say that? Just because uh, I, I haven't seen it, you know, it, it's one of those things where, I'm kind of skeptical that, you know, the results would really be there. I understand. I understand that, and thank you for being that upfront with me about that. Uh, I will say that we've worked with, with several dealerships that have kind of run into the same problems mm -hmm. that you have before, and we were able to, to kind of right that ship. Other Chevy stores? Yes, other other Chevy stores and, and kind of in that small markets like we have here in Hickory okay. as well, and be able to see that and, and I can bring some reporting in the next time we come in to be able to, to prove that to you. Okay. I can tell you confidently right now we have solutions that are, that are able to do that for you. Okay, awesome. Um, but, I mean, right now, I have a lot of stuff running through my head of, of ideas that I think might work for you. Sure. But I, I want to be able to tailor a program specifically to you. Okay. Uh, so if it's okay with you, can we set up a meeting, let's say, next week? Yeah. With, with me, you, and Mitch? And Is there anyone else involved in, in the process of, of trying um, to do that? I know you mentioned the BDC. Are they involved in that? Yeah, Brad's the BDC manager. Um, I would like to have his input. Okay. Just because I know that if I'm like, hey, bud, this is what we're going to be doing, and he he's real real wary about new. He just likes doing what he's doing. He's done it for 20 years, and this is what he's going to do. So I want to have him here. So if he has any questions, he'll be able to ask them for you. And I know, you know, showing him any kind of reports or whatever with actual black and white info right. will definitely get him on board. Same with Mitch. You know, Mitch just wants me to do it, um, but I know I'd rather you explain it to him than me try to explain it and maybe get something wrong. Yeah, we don't want to so. get anything lost in translation there. But I mean, to kind of take a little bit of stuff back here, did I help that concern a little bit about you of us not being able to provide solutions um, to you? I know I mentioned I'll bring you some reporting right now. Yeah. But is there anything else that I can do to? No, as, as, as long as I can kind of see it in black and white, I'm, I'm, I'm totally on board with, with listening to what you have. Okay, awesome. I appreciate that. Um, so how about, let's say, this time next week? Okay, the so... Three, the, you, me, Mitch, and Brad will sit down together. Yeah. Um, I want to be able to kind of bounce some ideas off of different people, be able to tailor a solution directly to you okay. to be able to, to go in and get that business and get get you that bonus. Uh, I don't want okay. you to have to sell your boat. I want you to be able to get a 
nice about it. Keep on the lake, yeah. Exactly. All right. Um, I'll tell you what. Is there any way you could um, like send me an email that I can, you know, with this effect, like the time and everything, so I can forward it to Mitch and to Brad, so they can put it in their calendars? Sure. I think I've got both of their emails already. How about okay. I just include all of y'all on the calendar invite? Uh, and then we'll just have a little brief overview of what we've talked about, but also kind of what we're going to talk about uh, next next week whenever I'm back in here. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about this. I think we've got some great stuff I'll be able to show you. Sure. Um, and, and definitely looking forward to it. Me too. Yeah. If I can if I can get to where I need to be, you'll be my best friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. Right, Thanks, Greg. Sounds good. Thank have you. a great day.